Hi YouTube, this is the Homeschooling Perfectionist here and I wanted to share with you a quick um, homeschool room tour, I guess, slash kitchen tour. Um, everyone's out of the house, so I figured this is the best time to show it. Um, please excuse my home or my kitchen, I should say. I am in the middle of food prepping, but um, I did want to share my, my setup now that everything is officially done. So this is my, my wall that I allow to be occupied with um, my teaching stuff, I guess you can call it. My board that I, that I made, I will be replacing it with an, actually, an actual real board, but this is the board I'm using. Um, I have, you can see some language art prompts right here, posters. I still have my Black History um, posters. We will be replacing those. This is a felt map right here. I've had it from the beginning, like last year. Um, and I didn't move it because it's stationary. And I believe that if I remove it, it'll probably make a mark on the, um, take the, some of the paint off like the other felt did, which is why I have my board all to the side like this. But it kind of works because everything kind of is fitting like a puzzle. Then I have a little um, fractions and place values um, poster right there. So this is my wall where um, I will be teaching from. Here is my desk or my son's desk, I should say. And so um, this is all of his stuff already set up. He has his the bins Monday through Friday. And then I have some supplies, printouts and different things like that as well. Um, my planner, I usually always keep up there. This is another board. I didn't make this one. This is a magnetic board. So um, I will be putting our schedule cards on here and just, just kind of putting reminders and things like that. I bought a cork board for my son to put some things on top. He just colored that, but just to kind of put some stuff on. Um, here's his daily schedule. I just figured I would put some things aren't etched in stone when it comes to time. So I just put first, second, and third. So that's it's a little schedule for him for the day. And then here are some rules that we've created for coloring. So I put the coloring rule, rules up there so that he'll, um, you know, won't, he'll just try to be a little bit more cautious when he colors. Um, so here's the top of his desk. You will see right there. These are fruits of the spirit little cards that um, I put on the desk. I got this um, idea from another YouTuber. Here I have a little pencil holder. It has pencil, uh, color pencils, um, washable markers, pencils, just a whole bunch of different things for him to use to write with. Here is his um, out in and out bin. Basically, whenever he's done with his work, he puts it there. We've already started doing that, even though we haven't started school yet, just to kind of get him in the motion. So he'll just put his work in there and I'll try to um, review it either right afterwards or I'll review it later and I'll kind of give him any points or, you know, not really points, just a sticker. And if he needs to improve something or change something, then we talk about it. He'll be using this, um, his daily um, or weekly checklist just for him to start checking things off and monitoring those things. I decided to laminate this instead of making photocopies each week because I felt like it was just repetitive. He's just basically checking things off. So he'll check them off at the end of each day and I'll just probably um, stick it up here with a magnet and um, he can look at that. Here's his planner. We haven't went in that yet. He colored in on September, but we haven't actually moved in officially yet. Here is a daily um, like tracker, just tracking the day, the month, and so forth. Um, this is just something that he uses. He's already started using it, but I didn't, again, I didn't want to print this out every week or every day. So I just laminated it. Anything that I laminate that my son is going to be writing on most of the time, I usually use a wet erase marker because wet erase markers literally wash off, whereas a dry erase marker, they can leave a residue and stain your laminate, and it's pretty much a wrap. Even if you use alcohol like browns, hot pinks, things like that, it can pretty much stain. So we use a wet erase marker. Here's his 
folder. I haven't put anything really in it yet. We found this on Teacher Pay Teacher, school year in pixels. So he basically just tracks his mood. So he's been doing that already. Here's a little review folder. He already knows this stuff, but it's just something to kind of get his mind stirred up in the morning, his days of the week, and that kind of thing. I'm trying to look at the time because I got food cooking. Okay. Um, here is his... Do I, do I know what I'm showing? Okay, good. Okay, I wanted to make sure I didn't show anything that was personal. So here's his drawer with all of his stuff. It, these colored pencils um, are erasable. We'll be using those for his history, um, Bible history. Um, he has a lot of bookmarks as well as his daily Devo, um, that we will be doing here. He has writing, um, I'm sorry, math manipulatives right here. And then his, this, his Bible, visual Bible along with notebooks and then just a caddy. Can I get to it? I'm trying to see from my phone. <laughs> but his caddy um, that we bring to the big table. Over here, um, we have our um, word of the day that we'll be continuing. His squishy body. He usually has his um, word or his body book here, but he brought it with him because he wanted to read it in the car. Some tape, my electrical pencil sharpener, um, my little notepad if I want to take notes down abacus right here that we actually use this has always been my little stash bin this book we we're going to be using the 50 states book but it was too huge i couldn't put it anywhere but here um i keep this because i store our schedule cards here so i have these schedule cards that i put up and they just have, I, I left some of them blank because I can just write the, the times down when we start things because, you know, it depends and varies. And I put um, magnets in the back. So all I have to do is just um, stick them on the magnetic uh, whiteboard. So this is just all my stuff. We have your alphabet avalanche here, my whiteboard cleaner, just little things like that that I, that I need or need to use. And here, this is like my catch-all bin. When I have to take a very important call or um, just something comes up business wise and I don't want to completely stop the school, but I want my son to just keep doing something while I'm doing something really quick, maybe checking an email, responding to a call, then I give him these things. These are things that he can pretty much do on his own geo board edition, um, read it, make it, write it. I have Scrabble, um, Boggle. So I usually set them up and he can do those things while I'm ha handling some type of business if I need to. Here is uh, another catch-all. I'm going to be filling this up, but we have some cards here. Uh-oh, my food's ready. So we have some cards here and I'm going to be filling this up with those odds and ends. This is his section. Um, here is his science supplies, like his goggles and things like that. We have some clay here. Um, I got this paint board what is this called tray palette i decided to spend a little bit more money and got the one that when once the paint dries it peels off because it could be kind of a hassle to um wash that off um this is all of his art stuff his smock some wipes crayons paint everything you can think of pretty much is in this so this is his little science stash we have some mats these are actually coloring boards uh cutting boards but i use them as mats we've always been doing that this is my resource drawer this is where i have my answer key my um what else do i have in here um lesson plans teacher manuals all of my stuff like that i kind of put them here I have other resources. These are teaching prompts, my pointer, um, pencil sharpener. This pencil sharpener, crayon pencil sharpener, do not spend $50 and get the one that's the Elmer's one. Get this. This was like five something bucks. This works amazingly. So if you want to know more about this, I can tell you about that. But here are all of my teaching resources right here. This is where I'm going to keep my son's homework. Here is where I keep all of my flashcards. 
just keep them here. Whenever I need to, whenever I need to use them for the week, I put them in. I'll be putting them in here, and then they'll just stay out. This is where I put all of like my extra fun stuff. We have some bean bags, so just like some fun little activities I want to do. I keep them in this one, this bin, and this is where we keep our um, library books. So that's pretty much it. Um, for the most part, you already saw my section where I keep my books. I'm not going to skim over there because it's a lot of food over there. It's kind of messy, but I just wanted to share this really quickly with you guys. Um, I hope that this was inspirational. I don't know, but thank you so much. Have a great one. Bye-bye.